Hi everyone, Kids the Witch here with another unboxing. This time it is the November Goddess Provisions box and I believe the theme is Lunar Light. As usual, this is not discreet packaging. Um, what you see is what you get. Um, it says Goddess Provisions on it and the box is um, designed. So you will find no discreteness here. So it may not be the best for if you're in the broom closet or you don't want anyone in your mail business. Um, and it runs about 33 USD month to month, and then there's three, six, and 12 month subscriptions, and I believe starting six to 12 months, it is um, discounted. But anyway, let's open this up. Let's see, it looks like we've got, oh, this is heavy. Goddess Provisions Moon Phase Wall Hanging. Let's see what this is, cause this... Wow, that is heavy. Um, ooh, okay, a lot going on here. Um, oh, it's super long, okay. So what it is, is a moon hanging that has all the phases of the moon. So let me sort of stretch it out and show you. So it is a long hanging. Um, it's metal, which is nice. And, ooh, um, tripod almost fell over. Let's fix that. There we go. Uh, there we go. All right, next thing. This may the movement of the moon stir your soul. I guess this is probably gonna be a spoon. A lot of spoons. Oh, this is cute, a little moon spoon. I guess it's really good for like tea. It's the right size for like scooping up some tea. So that's cute. This looks like tourmalated quartz. No, howlite maybe? I mean, howlite would make a little more sense. I'll figure it out in a bit, but. Here's that. Um, next is whatever this is. It is boxed. Let's see what this is. Ooh. Oh, this is actually really nice. It's a little like dish, like you probably put trinkets, I think, or there's a hole there. So maybe it's an incense dish. I'm not sure. We'll find out when I get to the bottom with the pricing and everything. Next is stretchy things. These look like, it says celestial ribbon. So I guess you could, no, it's too small to do a headband, but like maybe just sort of like a bracelet or something. Maybe. It's a stretchy thing. So I'm assuming it might be bracelets. Like I guess you could use them for. But there's four different designs. So here they are. Next is ooh, Magic Hour Ceremonial Teas Ruby Moon. And this is hibiscus, blackcurrant, rose hips, cranberry fruit, elderberry, rose with natural flavors and it's organic. So that means this is non-caffeinated. This is gonna be an herbal tea and they do have the steep times for it. Um, and it is from Ohio, oh, oh, Ohio, California. And it, yeah, it says right there, caffeine free. So it's a nice herbal tea. And usually Goddess Provisions has a card with the cart with some card art with the artist of the month. This is this month's art, which is like the one thing I'll say is that I really do like the artists that they always pick for goddess provisions for these cards. And then this is the monthly mantra, Lunar Wisdom Lights My Path. And it just is the Moon Wisdom Club, which is sort of their online thing. Um, details about it. Now let's get to the meat. All right. So first is the Matthew Boomy Sagittarius Moon Incense Holder. Oh yeah, we're in the moving into Sagittarius. 
Um, it was handcrafted by Indian artisans using sustainably harvested mango wood and recycled metal. So it is an incense holder, so that I might actually try that out. And it is valued at $30, but this is also an artisan um, made thing. It's not a goddess provisions exclusive, so. I still think $30 is a little expensive, but if it's fair trade or something, like I'm always willing to pay a higher price, we'll see. Um, next is Goddess Provision Celestial Ribbons. So yeah, hair ties, you can use them with hair ties and it's an $8 value. Okay, um, next is the Ruby Moon Tea. Um, heart Immunity Tea and it is, and uh, probably Ruby Moon because of the hibiscus, because hibiscus like turns everything red. And that is by Club Magic Hour, and it's $11. Okay, that tracks for certain, like, teas, like, um, specialty teas. Like, I've paid more for, like, crazy Oolong teas, so that's why I'm like. So, so far, the Moon Incense holder, I'm a little bit like, $30? Really? Um, Celestial Ribbons, yeah. Tea, yeah. Um, Goddess Provisions Moon Phase Wall Hanging another exclusive and it is thir 33 um i guess it depends on who made it and what they made it out of if it was like sustainable or something or recycled it doesn't it says hammered alloy moons but it doesn't say if it's recycled or anything so i'm going to say unless it has some sort of value to it that is like a selling point like it's recycled or anything like that I would say 33 seems a little excessive, even for this middle wall hanging. Um, Goddess Provisions Crescent Moon Teaspoon, $11. I guess so. I could probably say like maybe nine, but it is metal and it is cute. Um, oh, it's a ma ma Rainbow Moonstone Obelisk. That makes more sense. $11. Um, I don't know. And then the last thing is a moon manifesting ebook at 19. I usually do not look at them, the digital content. I was supposed to look last time and I'll link the box up here where I was supposed to examine it, but I didn't. Um, ain't no, I got time for that, essentially. Um, and then the cover design is by Lucia Dami. So Lucia, 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 period, Dami. Um, yep. Okay, so that is the, oh, I forgot to put the weight on my tripod, so it's like sort of shaky. Um, that is the lunar light box for goddess provisions. What do I think of it? I liked it better than the shadow work box, which again, I linked just, linked earlier um but i like it um it's it's okay i think i have another month or two of this but because i did a six month subscription but it's okay um i'm still impressed by other boxes far more than this um again i think the pricing has been like suspect for me like it just doesn't feel right like I feel like they are um, marked higher than they actually are and I mean not in like the business sense but like the markup is like more so like just even if you get past like the markup that comes with being a business um, anyway would I recommend the box I don't know it's been a mix of hits and misses for me with the goddess provisions box um, I would say watch some of the other videos I have on my playlist and like decide from there like if that's your aesthetic because it's like I said it's okay I don't think it's spectacular like I think I was impressed with like their divination box and that's about it so far the rest have been okay um well no the color one was pretty fun um and I'll the um divination box will either be linked up here or down below because I think I either Instagrammed it or YouTubed it and I don't remember. And then I can also link up here the color therapy box. So yeah, I'm on the fence on this. Um, like I said, I'm locked in for like 
six months so you'll definitely see like one or two more boxes for it I don't remember how many but um, anyway that's my unboxing and that's my sort of first impressions and I will catch you on the flip side bye